Welcome to another edition of Peace Pipe TV. Our guest today needs no introduction at all. One of the pioneers, one of my personal favorites to converse with, one of my personal favorites to get information from. We have the esteemed Kerry Davis. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Go Good right morning, ahead, uh, Kerry Davis, African Americans ain't Africans. Happy you guys had me and happy to get this information, start sharing this information. You know, because, you know, when you look in the real world, you see the situation as a group of people that we're in, what's going on. So just give a little information to help make things a little better. Absolutely. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have a we're gonna ask questions. We're going to talk about um, the great book that he has uh, wrote. And then we're gonna have an open dialogue. And then after that, people are more than willing to come on the uh, panel and talk with us if they would like, or leave it in the comment section if they would like to. Thank you. Right on, right on. So give us a little rundown. Who are you? Uh, Carrie Davis. Uh, I was born in Los Angeles, California. Uh, went through the training like everybody else did. Got into that. You know, when I graduated high school, that's when that African stuff was coming. So we didn't know. So as we start, as I started getting into it, I started asking questions. I used to be out there, if you remember Steve Copley, Bobby oh. Emmett, all those cats, when they were out there giving lectures, they were just putting information out there to just make you go, a lot of stuff isn't adding up. Not what they were saying wasn't right, because it was, but what we've been trained to think was totally wrong. And so when cats like John Henry Clark, uh, Dr. Ben, they came in, you start asking questions, get them out of here. Get them out. Everything would get tense. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would get you out. Come to find out, these motherfuckers was lying the whole time. <laughs> they, they couldn't explain the stuff that they were saying they couldn't explain it and so you know and it just sent me on another quest to just to learn more and I did and uh, mind blowing one of the things that I learned is so a lot of us when we learn this information we try to put the stuff that we learn and mix it in with it and it just messes it up even more so if you're t talking indigenous stuff and you bring in more stuff with it, mm. Moors have nothing to do with the indigenous people here. Hebrew Israelites have nothing to do with it. Here, here's an example. Here, this, this is a perfect example. Yeah, brother, you know, this is Egypt. You know, the, the Egypt is in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so if Egypt is in the Grand Canyon. It got to be in era. It got to be in New Los in uh, New Mexico, California, Nevada, right? Mm -hmm. It's go away because then they think about it. So what we do, how we're trained, is they throw us information. We pick it up, thinking that nobody's never heard it before. Think we have it all, mm -hmm. then go out and disseminate disseminate the information confusing the masses even more and that's what we have a lot right now people just confuse i mean they won't even do their own genealogy exactly <laughs> exactly i mean i mean damn <laughs> they'll throw their genealogy away and pick up something from a foreign country and just ruin everything and I we agree. have cats now who are out there that people send millions to just to be dumb. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about, um, do you think that it's a trend that's going on as far as like people going over here to Hebrew Israelite or more? You think it's like a trend that'll die out? I, I think if people don't start thinking and it don't look like they will. It, 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 we really not we're really not into it. Have you ever heard of a book called The Miseducation of the Negro? Actually, yeah, it's funny. I got that book right over here. Well, you can't see it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so you will know this. That book was published in 1933. 
Mm. Do you know to this date it hasn't sold a million copies yet? Oh, wow. That just proved the, the point of the book. Right. We, we're not we're not into learning anything. We're not into teaching our children. Not all of us, because mm. trust me, it's a lot of people tearing it up. Mm -hmm. But the majority, 85, 90 percent, they don't they're not trying to learn nothing, man. What what do you think? Mm -hmm. Um well, before we continue, um tell the people how they can get in touch with you if need be, like social medias and stuff like that. Well, African Americans ain't African on Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram, the indigenous one. Uh, website is African Americans ain't African.com. You know, we're over there. So come check us out. And uh, the, the web, uh, the web page, the website, you just go through the first page. You will have damn near everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's not hard. Absolutely. Do you feel that, um, do you feel like us collectively will come together if we start thinking and get back this land? I, I it's, it's happening now. Mm -hmm. it's happening, that, that's what I'm saying. You have a lot of people, they're getting it. They're, they're getting it. I mean, it's not, Okay, so when I started this out, I tell people African Americans ain't African. You like, oh, you, you just hate your African self. <laughs> but those same cats now looking stupid because they kids are telling them, no, nah, mom, you, you know, uh uh. We, we, we're not into learning, man. We're into being pretty, listening to mute, you know, the regular coon stuff. Mm hmm. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. What, what do you think it will take for us to snap out of this? Because it just seems like all of these ideologies have a strong hold on us and they seem to put us over here, put us over there. No, um, this, this, so if you ever talk to the homeless veterans, they're all mm -hmm. on the street. Mm -hmm. So I'll buy them a cup of coffee, a sandwich or something and start talking to them. Hey man, what's your, you know, what's your story? And and there and you can feel it in them. It, it, you just don't mm -hmm. see them. You can feel it in them. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, I went over to Iraq, Afghanistan, and helped kill off these people. Now these people right next door to my mama. Mm. It's gonna take that kind of stuff because what mm -hmm. the black man like to do is lie. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell you talking to a black man is he lying. First of all, there's no such thing as a black man. That's how that's how much we've been trained. The 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 jacket the young lady's wearing is black. Right. This, this I'm wearing. You're we're, we're all wearing you're all black. Wearing black. <laughs> and we're not black at all. You know, and we <laughs> we can't even get through that. We can't even see that the majority of us. And you know, we get into all these groups that only mean one thing your total destructions mm -hmm. black panther party is a perfect example mm -hmm. you know all you have to do is look at what the group did you know black panther was the first group that bought this l lgbt stuff well they weren't the first group but they were one you know one of them. yeah mm -hmm. it's like dude and we and we act like we forgot about that so these exactly. groups that are sent out, these people that are sent out, they're sent out by somebody because the people who are trying to help each other, they're not coming with this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What do you, um? how do you feel about the five civilized tribes? The five civilized tribes to me was just other people trying to get into your bloodline pretending to be you because and this is what i tell everybody who are your people if you go to the places the counties those names that you don't recognize are not english names those are normally your people here's an example i'm in birmingham alabama so-called birthplace of the civil rights movement mm -hmm. the whole civil rights thing was a joke and, 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 I, and I'm with the people 
who, you know, they still with it now. And 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 they they'll lie to their teeth fall out, <laughs> saying that it wasn't. All you have to do is look at the evidence. Anyway, when you're rolling through Birmingham, going to Atlanta, there's an exit called Tus. It's, oh man, I forget the uh oh man, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like Tuskegee or top some some name like that. But it's the name of a, a nation of people that was in this area back in the day. Mm -hmm. Those are the people. And 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 where your parents are from, your grandparents are from, those names are still there. Absolutely. So did that Choctaw, Chickasaw, those probably were some of the names back then. So you, so the Choctaw. So I think a lot of them moved to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was set up for another plot that they were doing that, that allowed oh, them yeah. to get into the nation and change stuff around because that wasn't our get down. That's what they were doing. And we, as, as they usual, ushered in a lot of... Um that ushered in a lot of the the changing of the the culture there it you stripped the stripped uh, stripped it away from us and gave it to those the colonizers to the europeans absolutely. and those um, absolutely that's it absolutely that's it uh, and you and you know that they're not the real people i had a conversation and it's on my page where i called them and said do y'all farm the land they said no for one lady said yeah then a head person said no we don't i said are you familiar with the three sisters they were like, uh, no. Right. I'm like, that's all I need to know. Right. Uh, a, a good, uh, and I recommend this to everybody. Go check out a movie called Killing of the Flower Moon. Hmm. You, you, you shouldn't have to be told nothing after you watch that. They just Killing came in the and, flower moon? and and a Killing of the Flower Moon, and they hmm. did, and it's not so much they took it; it's just we gave it away. Because we wanted to be Masons, we wanted to be Hebrew Israelites, you know, Bible characters. We <laughs> gave it away. That's what, that's what we did. Oh, Still yeah. doing it. That's, well, that's us being so be kind and polite, huh? I know. So you know what? Uh, kind, kind and polite. Ugh. Mm -hmm. That's our biggest downfall. Mm -hmm. Be nice. You, nice to you everybody know. but ourselves. Yeah. Right. So check out a movie called Killing Killing of the Flower Moon. Somebody just said they got the book. Check the, everything you need to know. When we get off, I'm, I'm about to watch that movie. Killing of yeah. the Flower Moon. And okay. the blow, you're gonna be and 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 you can you can tell. Because they talk about the Osage Indians. Mm -hmm. Osage Indians were from Missouri. But when mm -hmm. they moved to Oklahoma, all of a sudden they became Asian. Mm. Killer Alberta. Killer of the Flower <laughs> Moon on Prime TV. To blow you away. <laughs> how, how do you feel about people that say, um, like, what do you say to people that say? Well, they'll ask us, what tribe claim you? And if we don't have, if we don't say a particular tribe that claim us, then we can't be Indian. But they don't have a particular African tribe that claims them. So how are they African? How do you feel about people that say stuff like that? They're dumb. <laughs> I mean, when you you when you when you literally look at the African stuff, so this is what I always say. Mm. Get a nurse. And a cat who was in the military, mm -hmm. those will probably be your, your two best allies because they're going to tell you the truth. Nurses are always there to help people. That's, I mean, that's their job. They normally do that before they're nurses. Mm -hmm. You know, they know about health hygiene and stuff. So when you, so I, I know brothers that bring me their wives who are nurses, and she will embarrass him. <laughs> Brother, there's no way you can ship people across the Atlantic with them pissing and shitting on each other for months and they survive. Exactly. Plus, if you're on wood, your skin is going to break down. There's no way. They they will 
take all that to the curb and believe the story they were trained to believe. Exactly. When you ask exactly. a nurse, is it possible? She'll, she'll tell you, hell no. <laughs> that's that's facts, though. So like, it, they, they don't understand that. Brother, it, it's, it's, so, it's so simple. We, we just not into, we're not into learning nothing. I, I agree. Do you think that it's an agenda to push us to Africa so somebody can um, take the land? Because personally, I think that they're trying to replace us with more su submissive so-called black people. Uh, yeah, that, that that's part of it. But part of it, we just do. We're really like little puppies. The majority of us, you can tell us anything anything and we'll believe it mm -hmm. but the land they've already taken over the well we've already given it up we don't mm -hmm. look at can you imagine if we had our if we had our own supermarkets producing our own food can you oh, imagine no. do you know some That's of the food need. do you know that some of the foods here were taken away never to return mm-hmm they're in other places feeding other people. I mean, most foods are. Most, this is the breadbasket of the world right here. Absolutely. The Fact. farmers here, your great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather, especially through the Black Belt, some of the baddest farmers in the world. They're, they're, all, they're, all, they're almost all gone. My grandfather, he used to get out there, and he couldn't even walk. He would still try to get out there. Right. Mm-hmm. We, I still have his farm. Like some of those traditions that we need to bring back. Uh, plug ourselves back into nature. I was talking to this young lady the other night, and uh, she, she was pregnant. And I asked her, when was her baby born? She's like, I'm still pregnant. I'm like, yeah, but when did you conceive? Mm -hmm. She said like April or something. And I was like, oh, that's that's the that's the baby's here day. I said, who told you you were pregnant? She said, nobody. I'm like, somebody told you you was pregnant. Mm -hmm. She said, no, I said they did. I'm like, your baby didn't tell you you were pregnant. She looked, she was like, well, yeah. I'm like, OK, so that's the time that. Oh, you're not thinking when you deliver him, that's his birthday. It's when you can see it was when he when he started. Exactly. That's, that's spark said, of the, life. Mm -hmm. Right. So so she was like, Well, what do you mean? I'm like, you plant, you plant plants, vegetables and stuff. She said, Yeah, I'm like, so when it pops up through the ground, what do you do? Wait for it to get. You know, well, we can eat it. Same thing with the baby. Mm -hmm. He was here way before you had it. That's the day. And so that's how we're cut off because we, we got our times wrong. We look at we look at everything what somebody tell us to do. We don't look at if you just pull started a plant, you don't snatch it out the ground right then, do you? It's called an abortion. We do. A majority of us do. Imagine this. So, so, so this is what I want you to think about when you think about these things, what we do. And this is what I mean. We give it away. Imagine how much we spend at restaurants, presents, alcohol, all this stuff for our birthday. And it's not even it don't it's, it don't mean nothing. All we're doing is giving our energy away. That's what the African American does. So, what do you think so the purpose is of birthdays? I mean, you kind of touched on it. So, I asked the young lady, "I'm like, so who told you you was pregnant?" She was like, "I'm like, it's like the baby told you you was pregnant. You, you, we're not. <laughs> you're not. We don't develop. We don't get smart. We start off smart. You, and we got to get back to that. We're not into nature at all." Mm. We're not into it at all. At all. We don't believe we we, we into Jesus. We, we, we into <laughs> and you, and you can outside see. of ourselves. 
Man. And outside of the naturalness around us, yeah. We don't, we're not into it. You're right. There was You're a right. um, comment up here. That we part. should have remains segregated. How do you feel about that? When you were segregated, what did, what was going on when you were segregated? Everything we needed. Okay. We was more together too. We looked out for each other. Now that you integrated, how's it going? Straight to the bottom. Right. Don't are they still segregated again? Now they'll bring a couple of you in because remember. So if you so if you uh, if you watch TV, and I understand a lot of people don't. They'll always have a Negro or two in the commercial. That's to get you to have some kind of faith into what they're doing. Because remember when they, they were using you to market their products like Mrs. Butterworth, Uncle Ben, they put your face on it. People would trust it because most people know who you are. Just, you don't know. Well, you 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 know how many white folks out there saying, "What what how do I tell I, that I tell people they tell me I'm lying." This is what white folks say. Twelve disciples. He's, He's talking about disciples. how Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Jesus is the son. The twelve disciples are the zodiac. So this is okay. So this is what I mean about that. Let, let's take Christianity because that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do it. it. Okay. So if you read the most people who are Christians, they don't read their Bible ever, ever, yeah. ever. Yeah. You're and right. will talk, will talk dumb the whole time. So when you read the Bible, it starts off in the beginning, God. Chapter two, same page. Mm -hmm. Somehow God mysteriously changes to a Lord, the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, what's a Lord? I ask everybody, the Lord is Jesus. Well, Jesus hasn't been introduced into the story yet. They mm -hmm. don't, and this is what I mean. We just talk and we just confuse and make sh shit worse. Mm -hmm. You have a warlord, landlord, and a drug lord. Mm -hmm. All lords everybody hates well not everybody but damn near everybody mm -hmm. a lord is the the king's person who he goes out to collect all his money from that's a lord mm. later for what somebody told you look at think that's why your head is on your shoulders think you don't tell me what to do because i can do what i want to do and so then, then a little down, then a little down, the Lord and some dude named Adam create a woman. <laughs> I mean, this is simple. This is, dude, this is simpler than wiping your ass. We don't get it. We we don't get it. Because we've been trained to be dumb. Uh, then, you through, then you go through the rest of the book, it's dumber than the first page. I mean, serious, it, it's embarrassing. You know, when cats find out and really be like, dude, I, how could I not know? Well, that's a question you're gonna have to answer. It's right in your face. And, and so that's what I say, we're trained. We, we are trained that if a truth came up and slapped you in the face, you wouldn't even know what it was. How do you feel about the people that say that the Bible took place here? The Bible didn't take place anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying, dude. We, we, I mean, we can't think. I don't know if you ever heard of a cat. I, I, I was reading this cat in my 20s. His name is Adam Toffler. He was a, a futuristic kind of cat talking yeah. about things that were going to happen later. And this was in like the 19, the, the late 1900s. And he, one of the things he said, the people, the idiots of the future Will, will not be those who can't read or write. They'll be the ones who can't learn, relearn, and unlearn. I mean, relearn, unlearn, and all that. You can't learn. We're not into learning anything. What, whatever that is in us, that was cut off. We're not into learning. We, we're not into, man, I, you don't tell me what to do. I can do what I want to do. You ain't my daddy, nigga. 
that's most that's what I get from my family. Me too. They don't. They, you can't tell them nothing, man. So you don't. Just go on. And so people and uh, and it's a lot of young people. So so this is my belief, and it could it could be totally wrong. So let's take that civil rights generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's here's one. So you still hear people like we were talking about calling black. You know there was a time in history that if you call somebody black, you get the shit slapped yeah, out of you. Fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because black doesn't mean dead. Black means dead. You're not moving. Right. People knew that back then. So if you have a mother or father who was born in 19, let's say 1940s. 19 look at their handwriting immaculate mm -hmm. off the hook they were being taught by their own they were segregated like you said mm -hmm. if you look at my mother's handwriting look like she's writing with a feather <laughs> how did you learn to write like that our teachers taught us I, I'm sorry, I, you had a question that probably didn't answer it. No, 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 go in, man. Like this. No, man. I mean, so that's what I'm saying. You know, all er, everything. You know, so what I what I'm thinking is, it skips a generation or two. So like the the civil rights people, they 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 learned something that didn't work. Their children, it didn't work for them, but they taught their children, and mm -hmm. that's what you're seeing now. So they say a lot of stuff about the millennials and blah, blah, blah. A lot of them are really, really smart. I mean, there's a lot of young, young sisters and brothers out there that are off the hook Fact. as far as intelligent goes. Absolutely. Do you think that um, it is orchestrated for us to be right where we are? Yeah, you. But you, it, it is, but they get us to do it. Mm-hmm. So here's an example, perfectly, and 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 we support them. We support these people. There's a cat out there who's teaching. He's the King Kong of consciousness. He's the African Godfather or whatever. So he opens this school called Marcus Garvey Frederick Douglass School. Why would you open up a school with two? diametrically opposed ideologies. Thank you. <laughs> now, they call this cat a doctor. This is supposed to be the highest educated person. How don't you not know that? <laughs> and you've got all these babies out there trying to make their way through life and you out here blocking them with that bullshit? Mm-hmm. And then we'll get mad at somebody for questioning his motives. And you lying and bullshitting these kids, dude. You know what that sound oh, like? Perfect. That sound like somebody got the glove up his ass. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we and most of the brothers out there talking that crap, that, that's what, what they are. They're out here to confuse you. They're getting paid. Mm-hmm. It's all about the land. I mean, if somebody's not talking about the land. And so so I'm down here. So down here in Alabama, the the trees and stuff, they're the fruit and the nuts that they used to bear are shrinking up. Why? Hmm. Because the people are no longer there. The people are no longer around to make sure they grow. Mm -hmm. The plants vibe off of yeah. you. Fact. Now they yeah, you have up. plants that don't even bear fruit anymore because we don't collect it, we don't pick it, and we don't utilize it, so they don't bear fruit anymore. How simple was that? <laughs> we yeah. we we this is the good 30, 25, 30. I know women 75, 80, men to they would never say that. This is what I'm saying. We don't pass down information. I had a friend of mine uh, say, 
dude, my mama's still on that Jesus stuff. We don't get no information. Mm-hmm. How, how are you supposed to move if we don't get no information? Exactly. That, that's the job of the parent. Give the, I don't care who you are. You could be a bum on the street. Give the kids the information. We're not into that. We're into we reality into, shows. I'm sorry. We're into reality shows and materialism. Yeah. And so you see the churches are dying now. Oh, yeah. The churches oh, yeah. are dying. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it took too damn long. But, I mean, all of where, where the majority of indigenous people live, churches are damn near empty. The, the neighborhoods are shambles because they've take, taken all the money out of the community. They're loved and worshipped. But all these ministers have been raping the people. Well, the people have allowed themselves to get raped because I was five years old and I knew that that Bible was bullshit. I, <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. And there's a lot of people out there, but the people, have you ever heard of a cat named Spaceman? Never heard of him. Spaceman. Check him out. He's on YouTube. The, the videos are old and grainy. Spaceman took his daughter's big wheel and made it into an airplane. Mm. This is the kind of gene. And, and so I asked, I'm like, dude. How isn't this? He said, man, yo folks, he, he was being sarcastic. We'll make sure we don't go nowhere. Mm. This brother took his daughter's big wheel or bike or something. It was some something she was riding and turned it into an airplane. Wow. And you can see it on YouTube. That's a what's he, name, Space Man? I want to see the Space Man. It's on YouTube. <laughs> That's dope. I be, yeah. Oh wow! He, he, this, you know this cat lives in his car. Mm. We're not into that. We, we, what you call the African American, the black, it's exactly. They are exactly what those words mean. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> won't create nothing. Won't this read brother, nothing. When he, when I saw that, Ben, I was like. <laughs> You, you got to be kidding. That's me. like that brother solving the water problem down in Louisiana. He's right. pulling air particles out of uh, water molecules and particles out of the air and creating big old water reservoirs and these trucks and stuff. Yeah. Oh, you, so Wasn't you there another brother that brilliant. did that too? Did, huh? did somebody do that in Buffalo or something like that too? Yeah. Oh, you got brothers that you got. I'm still all over you, now. You, you, got, you got brothers and sisters out there putting it down, but they're ignored. Uh, all, mm -hmm. all intelligence in the community is ignored. We want to go to the club, and everything that we love, to, it, all it is is death. Check this mm -hmm. out. This, this is one thing we don't we don't get what we do to each other. Let's take hip hop music. Uh oh, speak on it. I, I mean, I, I know, I know you don't know the exact number. But when you finally start thinking about it, you're going to be like, damn. So when hip hop started, when hip hop started, it started out cool. To, mm -hmm. I mean, to us, because we were kids then. Then that gangster rap hit. How many gangster rap and crack came around the same time? Mm hmm. The people who were killed early on when crack hit, that's one thing. But not only did it kill them, it killed the children they would have had, the children that they would have had. Mm -hmm. You see the death and destruction we do to each other? Mm -hmm. how, many, how many people is that? So if we would have had all those people here now, there wouldn't be any room for the immigrants coming in now. That's powerful. That's right. what we do to each other. Right? That's a fact. You kill a mother, 
what if she was going to have five kids? Then those five kids would have gave us 25 more. Th those are people are wiped out. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Then we sit up and talk some dumb shit like we like we saying some smart. Saying it's, it's like the, what you call a group, the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're taking a religion from a, a heroin dealer. <laughs> Isn't that what the, the cat who bought the Nation of Islam meant? Did when mm -hmm. he in, in and out of jail for selling heroin and you still mm -hmm. you still have Negroes Asalaamu Alaikum. Mm -hmm. This is where we are today. Not everybody. I want to make it because a lot of people, well, uh, it's not everybody. You have people like you guys, ourselves. We're just ignored. Do you feel like it's because we just want to be a part of something? No, I just feel like because we're dumb. <laughs> because you're not going to be there. You're not going to be a part of them. You're not them. It's like telling a wolf, you can be a coyote. You're not the same. Right. You're not the same. But speaking of being a part of something, like we have a lot of people who say that uh, we need to get all our documents and information together and all of this stuff and join these five civilized tribes. Like, How do you feel about these tribes? Do you feel like we need to be um, integrated with them? They're a totally different culture than we are. They're not you. They're not us at all. They're not you at all. I would say simply, here, this, you'll, you'll get this. So in, uh, so in Alabama, they have like uh, every year they come out with like, it's like 500 schools, mm. high school, elementary school. Mm. The best one down to the worst one. The worst ones are normally where people used to live but don't live no more. I mean, no resources. The people who go ahead and be these Greeks, go to these colleges, blah, blah, they don't even go back and help bring light to the schools that their grandmamas and granddaddies went to. They just go, you know, they just Greek. These are the groups we get into. You are, you're not a Greek, dude. What, what are you doing? These right. and, and these are the Negroes that help screw us over. Mm -hmm. They give the land. They're indigenous people. Got land all over the place. Get Go to the places where, find out the places where your people are from. The names are still there. Still there. Your pe those people weren't dumb. They got what was happening back then and tried to leave breadcrumbs for us. We just ignore them. Mm -hmm. And then try to act like you're smart. You're dumb. You're, you're dumb. <laughs> really? You believe that you came over here on a boat during <laughs> hurricane season? How, explain. They can't explain. They can't explain it at all. It's very far-fetched. <laughs> No, no, it's just Especially bullshit. Take bullshit. The time it's like a far bullshit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. What'd you say? I was saying, even if you take time to understand currents and how they change and shift and all of that, it's just not possible. Well, the hey, things that they are, are saying that transpired to happen, it's not possible. You guys are probably a little young, but there was a cat named Dr. Ben out there. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the people loved him. He dumb. I mean, I mean, these and no, notice doctor in front of people's name. Beware of that. Mm -hmm. This cat wrote books this thick. Nothing can help nobody. So, and you have to remember, them cats were trained when they were bringing that African stuff in. So mm -hmm. they were bringing the Afri they were they were bringing the African stuff in, the Africans in. Um, have you ever seen a movie called Raisin in the Sun? Yes. Yes. 
Now, this is for the masses. It was, it was probably already done behind the scenes in colleges already, but it introduced Africa to the masses was done through this movie called Raisin in the Sun. Remember mm. the sister mm. was in love with this African mm -hmm. and was saying, mama, he's telling us all about ourselves. We're African. That's how it was introduced. And that movie came out in 1960. 60s. Mm. Yeah. It was it was like the late 80s when they start when they named you African American. Mm -hmm. But Raising in the Sun was the movie that they bought it in to the masses. Like I said, it was probably going on because a lot of African nations were getting their so-called independence back then. Mm. But you know, this plan, and they were saying you were African back in the uh, 30s and 40s with Herkovitz and Bo Boaz, these mm -hmm. two that ca called Herkovitz and Boaz. They started That's writing it. papers on this African stuff saying that you were African just to disconnect you from the land. And exactly. it, worked. it worked. So so if you hear a lot of people, you will hear a lot of people calling ourselves black, African. They were trained to do that. Absolutely. Because we didn't know what that was at, at first. We never called ourselves that at all. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Until this day, my, um, my grandma, she gets mad if you call her black or anything African. She'll say, right. no, I'm not that. So yeah, it, like, and so like I say, you talk to your grandmother, they know, especially the women, they know. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of brothers, so they put a lot of these brothers out there to teach you nothing. They're just making you dumb. I don't care how smart and how articulate they are. They're dumb. Mm -hmm. The mother, and, and so that's what I say, the indigenous people, what they did, they worked through nature. Mm -hmm. What What is woman's role in the nature? They call Mother Earth, Mother Earth. Because the earth gives us everything we need, just like our mothers do. Exactly. Nurturing. If it wasn't so, so my mom, um, <clears throat> she was she was a big Christian, and I and I understood why because she was born in Birmingham, and they used the dog sisters out down here. Mm. So that's all she held on to Christ, but she just passed away. Condolences, bro. Cool. We we all in line, brother. So that's Absolutely. what I'm saying. While you here on earth, you best stop fucking around and get busy. Mm -hmm. So she so she's dying. And I'm sitting there with her. I'm like, mama. She look at me. Jesus coming. She said, no. About time. Mm. We, we we play too much. Stevie Wonder said, and everybody knows this, Stevie Wonder said, when you believe in things you don't understand, you suffer. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And, 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 we, and the information is out there for us. We just ignore it. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to believe it. That's what happens to us. Facts. Because people don't want to read. Like, I, I, I tell people all the time, I don't, re like, if you ain't got your own personal library, but you got a, a shitload of video games, there's something wrong there. Oh, well, mm -hmm. one thing we can't, we 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 don't want to read. They, they make it where you don't read because they write everything in small print mm -hmm. where you have to strain. So just think of your average Bible. The letter is real small. Mm -hmm. You have to use energy to even read it because the lettering is real small. That's why in uh, African American, that's why in African Americans ain't Africans that got the font a little bigger. Just run right through it. Mm -hmm. So when in the reading, they, they they do everything to to get you to not to read. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But that that's one that's one reason. But, the, but you have a lot of people who do read. If you ever check out this cat named Bobby Hemet. I knew Bobby you were my man. I, I knew that was coming. I knew. <laughs> <My> I knew. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> and so that he was a comedian to me. He was funny as hell. He was. But he would just give you stuff that he would read that they wrote and just tell you, man, these cats are demons. Yeah. And they're hilarious. 
I would be laughing for days off of stuff that brother said. <laughs> him, Bobby, him is like an uncle. Yeah, <laughs> him, oh, yeah, brother, all information. <laughs> yeah, just uh, he just sat yeah. with his girl, and all they did was read. You you know what kind of library that is? Just that dude right there alone. Mm -hmm. I know people. I gave him. I gave them his videos. Man, I can't listen to that. Mm. Why not? But, you know, like we 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 we're just not into learning, man. We've been cut off. We've been cut off from that natural source. You know, the attention span too. Right. That's we're, we're, like, how do you feel about sending um our children to the public school system? You think that plays a factor in that? Worst thing, man. I didn't learn nothing in school. I didn't either. <laughs> so my mother. So so he, here's an example. My mother just passed, but before she passed, she she gave me these stack of papers that the teachers from the school used to send her, and they were all in red ink. Mm. I mean, trying to get her attention. This motherfucker right here is a problem. And and that's what they wrote in the papers. Oh, he doesn't listen. He can. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, it wasn't that. I would ask them questions and they couldn't answer. They, they couldn't answer because they know they were lying. I mean, mm -hmm. so when you're a kid, you know, when ki kids think about stuff. Like I'm saying, you're thinking soon as you conceived. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that we mess up on. We act like the baby is nothing till they get here. No, you're something soon as you're conceived. Exactly. You're trying to figure out stuff then. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't believe that. So kids, kids, remember, you remember a TV program, kids say the darndest things. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, yeah. Kids are smart until they get with us, until they get dumb. So it's, it's, it's around Christmas time now, right? Never got into that shit. My children pissed at me now. I never got my kids a kiss Christmas gift. You know how I had to learn about that stuff? The story just didn't sound right. Some fat motherfucker riding over on reindeer. It just don't. And, and like I said, we live in Los Angeles. You got Negroes who will put snow, put cotton oh, on their roof. You got Negroes who will put cotton on their grass to emulate snow. That's wild. One night, Christmas Eve, I stood up the whole night looking out the window, waiting for some, I was about six or seven, waiting for some cat named Santa Claus. That was the end of it. So kids would do stuff. Nobody would tell you. You're just going to do it on your own. And, and you learn. So I was fortunate enough to have parents who say, no, I'm going to go out and buy this stuff for you. I'm about to get out and um, do this for you. <laughs> do you know what I had to do to get this stuff? You know, so we gave all the respect and, and honor for, you know, doing for us to our parents, not that Santa right. Claus, whatever you want to call it. Right. See, my, my, my parents tried to do the Santa Claus thing just to follow the norm. But when I figured it out, I said, we have a beautiful house with no fireplace. How the hell he get in there? <laughs> And, that, and that's, when it's, right. that's when it's not. Right, right, right. Simple, I mean, simple stuff like that. And so, and it's normally the kids who come up with it. Mm -hmm. Because the parents are trying to integrate into this society or this culture. It's not your culture. And then, and then, and then it's, a, and then it's another thing. New Year's follows. Why are we celebrating New Year's in the dead of winter? Thank you. That part. I, I, mm. People now can't even answer that question. I don't know. <laughs> but it's even deeper than that because October, Octo is eight. And if we go on down, we'll see that the new year could not be that. So, you know, you got November, right. December, January. So we know that when it leads up to it, the new year would have to be spring. Right. See, like you said, we don't think, like you said. We, we ever. So, uh, I, you guys are young, so every <laughs> every first day of spring, mom used to come in there, get up spring cleaning time. You, a, a lot of people, parents did that. 
spring cleaning. Why? Because winter, you in the house, is stuffy. You want to open up, let the sun shine in. Springtime. Hmm. It's a new year. We're about to start, you know, planning all that stuff. We don't even we don't even factor that in. Mm. It's dead of winter. It's cold outside. You talking about Happy New Year? <laughs> Throw you off on your time. Not only they do it with the birth, the birthday thing, you know, through the year too. They throw you off on time. That's one of our biggest problems too. Exactly. Threw everything off. Everything. And then we lose power by celebrating these so-called holidays because we're giving yeah. all of our money to people that don't even look like us. And we could take that money and put it into our own community. I never understood that. That's why I don't celebrate none of these holidays. Right. Right. And then, like I say, we don't never think. And, you know, I always get people tell me, man, we it's only 13% of the population here. I'm like, dude, they tell <laughs> you 13% of the population. Where do you go in the world? Just simple question. Give me a simple answer. Where do you go in the world and the indigenous people are the minority of the people. Exactly. They told us that. But they also told us that we were the majority. I mean, just seeing when all the so-called Black people that voted for Obama, you should see that you were not the minority. It was a lot of people that came out. Oh, man, I got people crying about that now. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, you did. He He's... <laughs> He's not black, dude. He's white. You are what your mama is. You can't get the Negro to understand that. You come out of your mama, you are what you we don't get, we don't get it. But I think it's a, a lot of that is a confusion because you have brothers teaching the man, the man put the seed in the woman. Dude, you fertilize the egg. That's simple. That's like very simple. We don't do I, I, it. The more simple it is, the dumber we are on it. Mm -hmm. You don't plant nothing. The woman has the eggs and every month she drops in the ones that are not utilized. What are you talking about? And they out there. What do you call them cats who out there on the corner? The Hebrew like, Israelites. Who? The Hebrew Israelites. Dressed like <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, read. <laughs> I'm like, dude, not a pump, not a precept, a pump, precept. Dude, I see that's been dude, with these little young brothers out there who they got falling behind. I'm like, where are these cats' parents? You are ruining these dudes, man. Mm -hmm. A man plants a seed. And I and and that's the and a lot of brothers do it because they really feel inadequate. So when you take when you take the you take men from Europe, Asia, Africa, and America, and you pit them all against each other, the ones from America aren't doing anything. Why? Because they take on the ideologies of the people from other places. Why mm -hmm. would you why would you walk all over your ancestors and pick up the ideologies of ancestors from other places? That's what the black man does. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. You can say whatever you want to say. They'll pick up the ideology from somewhere. else. Do you know how dumb a brother looks preaching Christianity? A brother reading out of the Bible. And not even understanding what he's reading. And they get all the money, all the women, all the women. Oh, yeah. You know what this sister told me one time, man? I told her, you, 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 you got to be lying. She said, no. She said the church she used to go to, the minister used to come by on Sundays, eat. Screw her mama, her, 
you ain't gonna believe this, and her five sisters. Oh wow! I'm like, no way, no way. Yeah, yeah. It's a pimping like that. You know, the pastors are pimps. I'm like five to seven women. Yeah, I hear stories from my mother. Her father was a uh, was a minister, and um. I hear stories from her, my grandmother, my great grandmother, things that happened in the church that would just, you know, people oh. would turn a blind eye to because they knew it was happening. They knew right. what was going on, but they would turn yeah. a blind blind eye to it. And, you know, just because they don't want to question the pastor or bishop right. or whatever they were, they don't want to question God about what's happening either. And then that whole thing of what happens at home stays at home type situation. I mean, like she said, though, straight out the gate, the book is all fucked up because they said he rested on the seventh day. So why are they going to church on Sunday? And it's proven that the seventh day is today. So right. I, I, out, out the gate is, is really messed up. Right. So, so that's where we are, man. So do I think it'll, uh, it'll ever change? I'm doing what I can to make sure that it does. You know, so. Uh, mm -hmm. We all play a part. We all play a part. But some of us just play. <laughs> That's true, though. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Like, like, how can you, um, okay. How important do you feel genealogy is? Do you think that's top tier? Of course it is. Just mm -hmm. like baby. Go through the mama. You're doing the same thing, just in reverse. Who's, who's your mama's 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 mama? Who's your daddy's mama's 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 mama? And for some reason, I think it's just because they don't want to do nothing about it. Brothers always get mad. Well, why are you always putting emphasis on the woman? Mm -hmm. How come the men don't get no emphasis? Would there be any babies without any men? Or, you know, they just always want to feel like somebody doing something to me. Brother, we all got a mother. I didn't set it up. This is how it is. We all have a mother. She doesn't have a baby unless she has a man. That doesn't tell you anything. Brother will get pissed off like you just giving props to the woman. <laughs> I'm like, dude, th this is where we are. I mean, these are these are esteemed brothers. People who people send Nate half of their check to every month. Talking mm. like this. Dumb as hell. Like, dude, you every like, genealogy is very important. It lets you know mm -hmm. who you are, where you come from, what happened for you to get to this point to where you are now, and what you need to do to fix it. Exactly. Because you can't go off no, oh, I'm a I'm this without any proof. Like most cats be like, okay, I'm I'm a Moor or I'm a Israelite, and I asked them. How do you know that? Oh, right. well, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Okay, well, what did your mom say? What's your grandma say? What did, what did your great grandparents say? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in communication now with a lady who, who's in Israel. She wants to come back home so bad. She's, oh, wow. a, she's one of them Hebrew Israelites. You know how those Negroes take people over? Mm -hmm. Man, dude, you want to talk about some shit that got ruined. You got you got people in uh, Israel now, people from here that don't have nothing to do with Israel. Mm -hmm. These cats took these people over there back in the 1980s. Sometime you got mm -hmm. some people that's over in Af and over in Af in um, Haile Selassie, those type cats. Mm -hmm. People do. What are you doing? They and so 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 the indigenous uh, situation is picking up steam big time. And oh, yeah. they're even getting it over there. And they like, damn, what the hell are we doing over here? <laughs> you left home already. You left you left home already. So, you know, people be asking, well, what can we do? I've seen one of the people in the uh, chat ask, well, what do we do to go forward? This brother and sister's just laying it out for you. They say, "What? How is genealogy important? Do your genealogy. And it's not, and we try to act like it's so hard. It's not. Not at all. It's simple. Mm -hmm. it, 
If you don't have a grandmother, if your grandmother's passed, your mama gonna know. Why? Because the women normally pass down information. Mm -hmm. well, aunt, one of the women in your family, mama, aunt, grandmama, sister, one of them gonna know something. Mm -hmm. We act like nobody, they don't know. No, you don't want to hear what they got to say because that means you have to get off your ass and do something. Do something, exactly. How do, you, how, do you keep some of your, how do you keep some of your family's traditions alive now? Um, and how are they, you know, pertaining to your indigenous culture and heritage? So I have, my grandmother had 13 children. My mother's mother had 13 children. Out of those 13 children came 40 grandchildren. Mm. Out of none of none of none of the children was into it. They were just Christians and they were just trying to get jobs and blah, 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 blah. The grandchildren, the ones that are my cousins now, out of that 40, maybe three, including me. We're not really not into it. And so, like I said, most of my family is in Los Angeles. You want to talk about some coons, some shine. Mm -hmm. Most people in most so-called black people in California, they're from the South. Texas, mm -hmm. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They will, I know people, they will never go back to Mississippi. And if you ever been to Mississippi, Mississippi is one of the most beautiful places I have ever oh, very seen. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you wouldn't believe it. And in Mississippi, they have people who didn't move, who never moved. They got little towns, and this this is cool. And this is what I'm saying. The the answers are out there, y'all. You got families who never moved, where they live on acres. The streets are named after people in the family. Yeah. Cool. Had a cat tell me in LA one time. You, you know what got him to leave Mississippi? Mississippi, his family had a thousand acres, a thousand head of cattle. Balling. You know what yeah. got him to move to Los Angeles? The movie Car Wash. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Oh man, with Dr. He, Dre, he, that movie. he said he saw that movie and said, I gotta get to LA. Oh I'm man, that was one of the coolest ass movies ever. That's crazy. That's the how the film and movies and records that's how they influence us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that's another avenue that they use to try to manipulate the masses. Yep, yeah, movies and music. And, and music, that hip hop has these, and, and you're starting to see it come to a head now. Mm -hmm. That hip hop music is total garbage. I agree. So, uh, well, wait, why you say that? So, hip hop's there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it started real early. You ever heard of a cat named, what was the cat who started it? But the dude who was raping all the kids took over. Africa Bambada. African Bambada. Yeah. Scott LaRock. Scott LaRock. I mean, you know, the present form of rap. Because if you go back to the 40s and you heard how them brothers was putting it down. Oh, yeah. They was bad. So these cats come up with this new hip hop thing. The cat who was the head of it mysteriously gets killed. And some dude named Africa Bambada. That should have alerted us right there. Mm -hmm. So we came out with a, some, a, something called Planet Rock. One of the most horrible the song I ever heard in my life. Horrible. He goes on to rape kids. Big pedophile. Starting to come out now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's been down here. Now, don't get me wrong. Hip hop got some bad Bad cats. But overall, how how much have we lost? How many of us have we lost to that hip hop game? A, a, a lot of them. Um, 
The reason I say hip hop there because it start like you said how it started. You know, hip hop stood for higher infinite power healing our people. They don't do that nowadays. Oh man. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Like out here in Cleveland, the rapper Crazy Bone. I was in a studio with him like a year ago. And he was telling me, he was like, I'm gonna let you know something. He was like, um, it's not nothing that I'm hiding or nothing. He said, I talk about this on uh on the uh, radio show. He said they use hip hop to fund the prison industry. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. I yeah. definitely. Agree. Yeah. Man. So, brothers, so we have um, we have someone here backstage, uh, Tyrone. I'm gonna bring him up so he can ask his questions and give his comments more quickly. Hello, peace, brother. You there? Yeah. What's good, Carrie? Tyrone, what's going on, homie? How you been, bro? I've been great, dude. What about yourself? Been doing fine, bro. Um, I have a question about like uh, where did this whole thing start with the Africa stuff? Because in my research, it goes deeper than just the 19th century. They were doing this whole thing all the way back since slavery. They had like given certain like black people education to where that they wanted to uh, brainwash these individuals into moving sl freed slaves or freemen or people that were never enslaved back to a certain spot in Africa rather than them honestly being indigenous to those places. You have things like Africa Free School that was founded by that. Uh, you have a guy that has a play about him, Alexander Hamilton, you know, the one about rapping slave owners. And uh, you have Benjamin Chu and a lot of these Freemason organizations that were getting these uh, black Americans that were getting education to come up with uh, random royal bloodlines about themselves rather than them talking about what their indigenous identity was while being enslaved. Like Ira Aldridge, he was like a, a, a actor that studied under the Africa Free School, and he made up a Fulani background about himself while learning at this Africa Free School. You also had people that were um, apprentices under these uh, Episcopal churches and them being assigned the word African. So um, it's a lot deeper than just the movies and the modern education. It goes all the way back to like them trying to remove the Negroness out of Indians and replacing the Indians with white people. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You're absolutely right. And also, like you say, the African Episcopal Church and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But here's something where you can learn a lot from. And, and he's absolutely right. And this brother is young. This brother's under 30 years old. Oh, wow. You see, so imagine when he gets to be 45, 50. We got cats old enough to be his fathers, not even on this level. Hmm. But he's right about that Africa thing. And I, I missed that. They have a whole bunch of African Methodist churches and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And Afro-American organizations, because you got a lot of these smart ass Pan-Africans that try and challenge our information and they don't reveal the real reason behind these African back to Africa movements right. during like the slave period. Uh, another thing too about that, this is where you want to get some information from. If you go down south, I don't know if they have them in any of the major cities. They might. Check out some of these primitive churches. They're called mm -hmm. primitive Baptist churches. Check those out. Get a lot of information. Just like you can go back to some of these HBCUs and get information, which nobody goes and get the information, but the information's there. Some of these primitive churches give up a lot of information too. Mm -hmm. yeah, even these documented um, books that they got on internet archive that's sold out that comes out of like uh, the 80s and going back further to like the uh, 1500s, they reveal information about Indians being black. 
they they use it by hiding certain words behind synonyms and uh, you know uh, different meanings of words because uh, the American English language is contradictory. They they just hide words through different meanings and. Uh, if you dig deeper and had like reading comprehension behind these people, uh, you would reveal information that they actually mean when you think it means to you, when you look at a word such as like applauds, for instance, uh, it could mean like th uh, a whole bunch of things, um, or it could mean clapping. You have words like, um, you know, mourning. What do you do when you mourn? You're sad, right? But why do you tell people good morning? That's why they Certain said things that, like uh, that. That's why they said that the uh, pilgrims spoke with a forked tongue. Yeah, right. and so, the word black. Why do we call ourselves a word that doesn't even have anything to do with color? It's not even a color. It's just the absence of color. And it means negative connotations. But we embrace negative connotations by calling um, things a term of endearment. If we refuse to identify with things of the land and what our ancestors called things. Heck, even the Pan-African, they don't even call their land what West Central Africans' ancestors called it. You got many names such as Kafri, you got Bambara. You have all types of things. It's not even al Kibalon or Ethiopia or Africa itself. But people want to sit up here and say, what's your indigenous language? Well, American Indians, particularly the Choctaw and the Muscogians, they called it Miliki Yankee. It's things like this that people don't want to look up and research because it's, it's a lot deeper than just calling yourselves just a label that Europeans set for for you. Absolutely. You said he's oh, yeah. younger than uh he's younger than most. I like him. He yeah. Got so this, so this is what I'm saying, dude. I mean, this cat is not even 30. And you got cats out here 40, 50, 60 years old. Got a college education. I yeah. don't have one. Duh. And they still pushing this bullshit. They don't think and they use words like sub Sahara and Bantu. They're pushing people to say things like that. Right. They're pushing people to believe in these sciences that these educate uh educated fools tell you. Like the out of Africa theory, they're having debates today on these conscious channels like Sanita. Regrets in their own Afrocentric master teachers' beliefs to regurgitating their opponents' beliefs. Talking about, oh, I'm a scientist, I'm an atheist. That has nothing to do with being indigenous, nor does it have anything to do with an African. Facts. I got a uh, a thing where Sonetta says something about, I don't know if he knew he was still on the air, but he said something like, oh, they're going over to the other channel with the um th the real African. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, wow. I, I, it's on my page, but it, it was just silly to me that he said that. Mm -hmm. so you got to uh, figure a lot of people like him, the Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass School, remember. They're not from here. Their mothers are from other places. They get here to trick you, and as usual, you go for it. Mm -hmm. They give our cultures to uh, all these other people. They don't even uh, allow Black Americans to embrace their own country and culture and identity. They want you to be a homogenous Black club. Mm -hmm. That's facts because you, if you notice, every time they like anybody come over here, they'll use us. So they'll say, "Okay, we black, we black, we we African American, right?" But mm -hmm. then when they when they get their um uh, their award or whatever have you, 
they all say, no, no, I did this for Ghana, or no, I did this for Nigeria, or I did this for such and such. Have you noticed that? Yes. Another thing would be is they're doing that to scramble for restitution and reparations that's owed to black Americans. You get all these PSYOP groups like in Cobra, you get these uh, pan-African individuals, you even get African countries that's in on it, and they have these secret meetings out in the open to where they're fighting each other over what's owed to black Americans. And then you have these FBA individuals trying to hijack American Indianness because you can't be indigenous to a land calling yourself black. Exactly. Even in Africa, they are allowed to delineate certain African groups out of the African picture because Eurocentrics tell them that these people are white or Arab, like the North Africans and the Horn of Africa. And they divide up Africa with this invisible geographical, a geographical borderline that doesn't even exist and you have Africans within the continent calling themselves Nilot. You got people calling themselves uh, Bantu, Niger, Congoy, Capoy. Things that don't, that don't have anything to do with ethnicity. It's just racial taxonomies that was invented by a bunch of eugenists to divide up indigenous people. They don't do that over here calling uh, American Indians sub-Mojave Desert um or uh, little ridiculous things that make up uh, divides up individuals based on phenotypical look. They don't do that with other people but us. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. The brother on point. So I do want to, um, I, I really appreciate you being up here and your comments and questions. We want to open up the floor for anybody else who wants to come in. Um, the link is on the screen. Um, go ahead and type that in and come join us. We'll have you in the backstage and we'll bring you up as we see you. Um, you can also type your questions and comments in the comment sections on Facebook or YouTube and we will get right with you. Uh, another another thing I want to bring up is, is like the young man just said. These people come up with all kind of be in the back room, coming up with all kind of words and ideas and plans and stuff. Here's another. The, check out the words that we use. And we have to know what these words mean. One of the words that really pisses me off is this term aboriginal. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. <laughs> Aboriginal. And, 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 and this is what I mean. This stuff is simple. Aboriginal. What does the prefix ab mean? Abnormal. Normal. Not normal. The, to take away from. Take away from. Mm -hmm. They don't mean nothing. And we take them and hug them and love them. Like, and I don't think that's done on purpose because if you're a doctor, like you say you are, you got to know these things. Mm -hmm. You have to know black is like uh, Tyrone said, it's absence of light. It's no light. Light to them mm -hmm. is intelligence. We don't get this. The average Negro know. Knowing their skin is brown. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, and I always win, you show me a black person, I will give you $20. And they can't do it. <laughs> They'll never be able to do that. They'll pick up a Photoshop image on Google of some people that's in Kenya or a, a Nilot African or a Sentinelese person, when in reality, these people are a dark shade of brown with purple undertones. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We don't need, and if you look at us here, it's a red undertone. No. Yes. How you red, man? We don't get it, man. We don't get it. And then when we don't get it, we get mad because we don't get it. I mean, you you try this one in any subject you want to, when you tell the truth, the person who you're talking to will get mad. I do it with Christians all the time. 
Explain. Explain to me why are there unicorns in the Bible? Explain. They'll get mad. They'll get mad at me. <laughs> Brother, I didn't write it. But explain to me how is there unicorns in the Bible? They, they can't explain that. They can't explain so, that. You, so, Carrie, do you think that the Bible and science is one and the same because you got idiots sitting up here talking about, like, the equator is only shining down on Africa rather than revolving around the earth and saying that only black people could exist in Africa because that's where the sun shines and focuses on Africa burning the people's skin to make them adapt to having dark skin and nappy hair. But we find critters that's outside of Africa with hair that's similar to the Negro's hair, but they live in the cold environment. You know what, man? <laughs> Those flat earthers sound like you're talking about them. <laughs> no, no, this is the out of Africa theorists. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know, I know what you're saying, but it sounds like the same. You know, the same nonsense. Live in the same, live in the same <laughs> house. So this guy's going to tell me, but when you know the Earth is flat, I'm like, then explain Denver, Colorado. And Los Angeles, California. Mm. Explain to me a city that's a mile in the air and a city that's in sea level. Explain to me how does that make it flat? Mm. That's a very good question. I mean, simple. I mean, dude, everything is simple. Simple. These, and, and, and this is what I'm saying. Uh, when that whole interview, when we started going to school, this is what we learned. Simple. We can't even figure out stuff like that. And like Tyron was saying, is people if you take the equator and go around the world, do people get lit by the same sun? They look they the same. You got people in Asia darker than the people in Africa. Yep. Very right? true. Very true. You got people with J5 Afros in the Pacific, but they they can't believe that there might have been black people in the early Americas that's non-African. Right. They even finding black people in Europe right. in the Paleolithic times. Oh, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you check out, if you go on my website, I have a video of it. Um, if you go to the churches in Germany, you know, at, in a time it used to be uh, the world used to be known as the four corners of the world. Mm -hmm. And they would have Africa, Europe, Asia and America. And they would show the Africans, you know, with the elephants, giraffe, you know, the animals that were there. Same thing in Asia, what they did, uh, Europe and America. Man. This is what I'm saying. We, we've been had. And instead of saying we've been had and turn around and start walking the other way, we just argue and get mad. Dude, I, 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 go look at it now. You will see people who look just like Tyron. You will see people who look like you too. When they talk about America, look just like you. Like you've got your hand on your chin, your cheek right now. They got a brother on there. Looks like brothers from over here. Mm -hmm. These are yeah. painted on ceil these are painted on church ceilings over there. When they're talking about America, same thing. You, we don't know this stuff. These are doctors teaching you that you're African. We will pay. We will put ourselves in a lifetime of debt to go learn this bullshit, but won't pay twenty dollars to learn who you are or try to find out who you are. Sure. That's what the African-American does. Mm -hmm. That's what black people do. Another thing that Let's makes us ahead. gullible. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. another thing that makes us ahead. gullible is the DNA thing, because we listen to individuals like Skip Gates tell us bullshit like, oh, yes. Indians and Africans never saw each other during slavery, but in the next breath say that they was enslaving a whole bunch of Africans. 
And then in another breath, they say that Africans were here in 1502 or 1526. But they never intermingled and we don't find any West African markers on these reservation natives. Why is that? One thing oh. I do know that they've done is they take they took away that whole DNA aspect in the those five civilized tribes um, because they were finding that that European DNA was becoming more uh, predominant. Oh yeah, in their blood. But well, they'll tell so, you that they was dick policing Africans from mixing with Indians. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> People are bound to uh, in a, a mingle if you bring in one people like to replace alleged weak Indian population from picking cotton. They're bound to mix regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the universe. So it's, it's a lot of things that these people don't think about when taking these DNA tests. You don't question the person that's giving it to you. They're regurgitating a beigening of the word indigenous. They're not talking about how you got all these black groups outside of Africa that are populating the world, but they say that America had no blacks, or they say that North Africa had no blacks, and they're saying that white people or these mongoloid people were the first people there with the out of Africa theory. Well, it's because they don't know how to read the test. You know, I, I think the DNA test is statistical guesses, but if you read it correctly, it's they only lining you up with Africa because of something called the CLAO, the RS2814778, which phenotype. So if you got our phenotype, mm -hmm. they're going to say, well, we go off the out of Africa theory, so you're from Africa. That's why they're doing that. Like a lot of people think that the tests are the end all be all, but if your test ain't matching up with your, with your genealogy, throw it in the garbage and don't take it at all. And here's a diagram that I put together with people that use terminologies to define themselves by a racial taxonomy. For example, where is a sub-Sahara Africa? This is what the Pan-African that regurgitates DNA sees Africa. <laughs> He's right. Nothing but uh, roots, Kwanzaa, Wakanda, and DNA kits. And it's relatively talking about the edge, the slave coast, when mainstream talks about it, it's something like this. This, this is what Pan-Africans in the mainstream sees Africa. Wait, did you just have Wakanda on there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because they see it as a Marvel Comics uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, paradise, rather than the reality that it's a fucking hellhole. They're and not fixing their uh, problems over there. They're telling Wakanda. us to come there and bring our infrastructure. Right. They say Wakanda is actually one of our words that mean great spirit. So I, th I thought that that was fascinating that they did a movie about Africa with Wakanda when that's a word here, indigenous here. Mm -hmm. This is how uh, white supremacists see Africa. When they tell you you're a sub Saharan Africa, they strip North Africa. Egypt, Sudan, the Horn, all of that, and say that's white. Well, while giving you the center and then snatching up South Africa, because that's where majority of them live is in Kenya and South Africa or Nigeria. Right. Well, look, Tyron, I'm going to go ahead. And this is how and Africans themselves see it. Tyron, I'm sorry. All right. We're going to go ahead and get to some of these other questions so we can give everybody a chance to get their questions answered and get their comments in. All right. So we're going to go ahead and have you fall back if you don't mind. And we have a question. Um, I just pulled it down from Beyond Thought. Let's talk about how people can't group together for an action to a cause. And I believe he has another one here as well. Let's address that one. We'll move on to the next one. He should come to the panel. I'll be afraid. We're not going to bite you. Uh, they can't group together to to create, to, to fix nothing because everybody, we're individuals now. We're not groups. If you said all the Alabamians come together, listen, check this out. Here, here's the perfect. See, I like to give examples 
so you know that what I'm saying is, is for real. So when my mother was trying to uh, further her education, she wanted to go to the University of Alabama. For some reason, everybody thinks education from these schools means something. I never mm -hmm. did. So when she went to go to school, they were like, no, nigga, you ain't going to school here. You can't go. This was a lot of schools all over the place. Now, when you look at the University of Alabama, the Negroes make that school billions of dollars a year. You got sisters. They used to have a coach named Bear Bryant, used to wear this funny looking hat. You got sisters, bad too, wearing dresses like the color of his hat was. Mm. This is how, this is why we can't come together. We want to be them. See, we got to, we, we can't forget that. We want to be them. The men want to be them all the time. And, and like I'm saying, this is not everybody. This is the majority. The women want to be their women. Don't lie. They want to be the, they, come on. This is why we can't come together. You see, you seen the Black Panther was there to infiltrate the Black community. The Black community, they, they will deny it today when it's right in your face. Question. This is, this is still on the brother's question. How come we can't get together? Let's take the Black Panthers. Let's take the Chicago chapter. They had a cat named Fred Hampton. I know everybody's heard of Fred Hampton. Bad oh, yeah. dude. 21 years old. How come in the Black Panthers, all the children were killed, but the adults, the older people, went on to be congressmen, senators, and blah, 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 get teaching jobs at these universities and stuff? How'd that happen? That's a very good question. The children, the youth were killed. And the older people went off to get these prestigious jobs. Explain that. And don't just be like, no, I you uh, I was me. <laughs> Explain. Can't explain. Because Can't explain they, it at all. You, you, a lot of these cats, and it's the same today. They're paid. You make sure these. You make sure they stay dumb, and you will get a car every year. Mm -hmm. You teach these. You teach these kids that men give birth to women, and we'll make sure that your kid can go to college. That's how it's done. Mm-hmm. And instead of us looking at the truth, weighing it, figuring it out for ourselves, we get mad. Oh, nigga, you lying. That's exactly how it goes. All, uh, what, what's the, the mayor in New York that's right now? Do a little bit of research on him. Giuliani? Huh? Giuliani, you talking about? No, no. The mayor of New York now. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right. Just, just, just do a customary 10 minute research on him. You will walk away like this. God damn. All these Negroes in these positions. I think I was the 16 year old told me that this was cold. 16 year old dude told me this. 16. He said, man, I was looking at TV the other day and I saw this commercial with Shaq. He was standing behind a cartoon general. Mm. The insurance. Yeah. He goes, man, he said, that did something to me because a general is supposed to be the leader, but you a big seven foot ten cat standing behind him and he's a cartoon. What does that make you? <laughs> That's what he said he thought to himself. I was like, brother, you, you got it, dude. You, you know, he got it. So he's figuring this. This is what I mean. Kids be figuring stuff out. They know. They know when something's wrong. They know when you bullshitting them. And he, he just, he like, I, that, that didn't sit right with me. Dude, you know. 
you know. The kids is watching. They the pay attention. Watching. And so that's why I'm mm -hmm. saying that's that's why, man, I I try not to lie ever. There's a whole bunch of stuff I don't know. The brother who was just on Tyron, he knows stuff that I don't know. You know stuff that I don't know everything, but that's how we're supposed to come together so we can, you know, put stuff together. And it's hard for Ooh. us to do because we got all these people trying to come in between us, lying, lying, trying to talk off. You, you, you see how they talk. They try to talk with these big words and and it sounds stupid, man. And, and it just brings confusion. Oh, yeah. And they Everybody always jump on the back. And when you ask them a question, they cuss you out. I've done that. I, I'm, I'm talking about the big hitters. They get mad because you caught on to their lie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're going to um, see if we have any more questions. Um, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and do our benediction. <laughs> we're going to come to the end of the show. <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of people today. Um, we would love to. The extreme oh, yeah. guests. We would love to have you back on. Absolutely. Definitely. Any anytime. But listen. Let's see. Your mama, your dad's mom, try to learn from these people. Your aunts. Aunts know something. Aunts, aunts. I have aunts who are more like my sisters than my aunts. They do stuff that your mother won't let you do. You know, aunts. They're, they're another important factor, too. People who are aunts. Because they, they normally, they're not your mom. They're close, but they normally know stuff that your mom don't know. So if your mom is a, a, a devout Christian, one of her sisters won't be into it and it'll tell you stuff from another angle. Very important. Very important. Aunts, sisters, grip. The women in your family are very important. And your father's family, too. Your father's mother. Your father's sister. You know, those people, you, we're, we're the same. We, we don't work without each other. We are always trying to separate it. It doesn't work. You can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. Facts. Right on. Well, um, it looks like we don't really have any more questions here. Um, any final words you want to give? Um, and then reiterate on where everybody can find you. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we're about to come up uh, on winter. It's one of their it's one of their times a year where they do a lot of damage. Pay attention. Don't get caught up in this bullshit, because they'll put little reindeer with flashing noses to get you to let you to get your guard down. This is the dead of winter. They call it the dead of winter for a reason. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. New Year's, that ain't New Year's. New Year's is spring when everything is. So you, you asked earlier, how do we get back? Pay attention to nature. You're on a clock. The earth is a clock. You have spring, summer, winter, and fall. Mm -hmm. When a woman gets pregnant, how does she get pregnant? She gets pollinated by the man. Pollen starts in the spring. This is simple stuff, y'all. Mm -hmm. Simple. And just follow the just follow earth gonna tell you what to do. The seasons gonna tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Don't let somebody come in who's not you, have nothing to do with you. Everything is to pimp you. And one thing. One thing the Negro is good for is being pimped. 
So you can check us out at African Americans Ain't Africans. Pick up the book, African Americans Ain't Africans. Something to read while you're hibernating in the winter. It'll probably take you two days to read it. When you when you start and, and start asking yourself questions, ask yourself. You're going to come back with the answer. And remember this. Always remember this. This physical body is not you. This is just a house that you in. You are on the inside. You're hearing me. You're seeing me. You are on the inside. Your physical body is just the monkey suit that you wear while you're here on earth. Your heart is beating. Your heart doesn't beat outside of you. Your blood doesn't flow outside of you. You don't see your brain. You are on the inside. This is just something to hold us all together, this physical body. Pay attention to your children. Because they know if you if you have if you got some intelligence, believe me, your children are gonna have more intelligence than you. Cultivate that. Cultivate that. Right now is the perfect time to do that too. Right now, this yeah. season that we're in. The fall yeah. and winter are the best times to get to learning and pouring into yourself, developing and building. So that way when spring does come around, you can branch out and, and go out and what it is that you've learned and what you've known, spreading the word. You, you have the energy and the uh, the support of you know the elements to be able to do all of that. I'm, I'm a big, big advocate on um, understanding the connection to nature and the seasons getting back to that because that's what our ancestors did we did everything based upon like the equinoxes and the solstices those were like big big major holidays or whatever celebration times for us understanding the way the earth moved the the ebb and flow the procession of the equinox how the stars are and how things are aligned we followed those things in order to be on a certain time frame um if you will so I, I would love to have you back and talk about those topics and things. Um, I think that's very important to get back to. Oh, yes. And well, you, anytime you want to have me, you know, I love what you guys are doing. Thank we you. need to have this. <clears throat> You'll notice all, all that's being put out, is especially on the social media, is, you know, this hip hop stuff, sports. And what you guys are doing is off the hook. Keep it up. Seriously. You guys are hooking it up. We definitely appreciate you, man. Definitely. So, um, yeah. If you don't have his book, definitely get that book. That's a very important book. Like he said, yeah. to read it while you hibernate. Very important. To me, he's the pioneer of this whole thing. This well, whole thing. Well, I'm, I'm not the pioneer. I just, this, this is what I tell everybody. I'm not the pioneer of it because this is this information has been out forever. You got people who've been out there putting it out their whole lives that are 100 years old. Hmm. I know cats that's 100 years old that tell me, dude, these niggas ain't trying to learn. I mean, I got cats hmm. saying that, that's been saying this. Ask yourself questions. You're intelligent. You're intelligent. You, you know stuff that a lot of people don't know. Just have some a little faith in yourself. And one more thing you're going to want to do. If you're going to listen to some music, listen to that good shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen to that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Stop listening to this other crap because it just messes you all up on the inside. Listen to the, the instrumentals. Listen to groups. So like in the 70s, there were groups like Earth, Wind & Fire, Parliament Funkadelic, Bar K's, Ohio Players. One thing about those cats, and this is what I mean, how stuff is passed down. Remember, those cats, they learned from the Duke Ellingtons, the Sun Rock, oh, yeah. Count Basie's bands. Those cats, now, they, they, you, you heard of Sun Rock? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. love Sun Rock. Yeah. You, you, so let me ask you this. Since you know about Sun Rock, <laughs> would, you Sun Rock <laughs> would you say Sun Rock was George Clinton in the 40s? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So those cats back in those days, the people like the Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Ohio players, etc., those cats 
were from those bands, you know, taught from those bands. Those were those 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 cats in those bands taught their children and the people in the neighborhood how to play instruments, especially in Ohio. Dim cats. Oh yeah. Dim! <laughs> in Ohio. Oh my God. So you know, listen to good music. Listen to good music, man. Absolutely. Listen to good music. It's a very good show. We thank you all for coming out. Go over to African Americans ain't African. Pick up oh, a yeah. book. Check out some of the information. Once you go to the once, if you just read one page, the first page of African Americans ain't African. You you got it. The, the information's right there. So Absolutely. check this out. And look, I really appreciate you guys having me on, sharing this information. Really appreciate Tyrone coming on, and you guys are doing an excellent job. Keep it up. Thanks. Absolutely, Thank man. We thank, for, we thank you for coming on the panel, man. It's greatly appreciated. This is a gift among gifts, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Well, if you haven't already, you guys like and subscribe, share. Make sure you definitely check out the brother. Go grab that book. I see somebody said that they're about to grab it ASAP. Thank you. And um, always, man, just remember, do your genealogy because you got cats that's claiming stuff that they can't even prove. And they're claiming Bible characters. That's ridiculous. But not the, not the dog nobody's religion, but still, find out who you are. Anything else you oh, want to say, God? It, it's not that they're dogging it. They're just telling the truth. So <laughs> here, here's an example. This Because I've got, I've I got relatives that are deep into it. And every time I ask them a question, they be like, oops. So there's a story about this cat. The Sodom and Gomorrah cat. He went to Sodom and Gomorrah. His wife got turned into a pillar of salt, whatever wow. that is. <laughs> him and his daughters go up to the mountain. He, His daughter get him drunk, and he screws both his daughters. That's crazy. How do you, how do you have sex when you're drunk? I don't Never worked for me. And only did it once, but he, he did it twice. Right. The next and, night. That's crazy. And we say we're from these people. We teach our children we're from these people. Yeah, that's that, that's what insane. Think, what do you think that does? Mess up their head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, check out, check out African Americans ain't Africans. Listen, it don't have everything in there, but it will definitely point you in the right direction. Absolutely. Very powerful book. Absolutely. Like the, the sister right there, Miss Washington said, thank you. Well, we're going to close out now. Thank you all for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. As I always say, you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us. And y'all all came out early, too. We had about like like 2,000 people in here. So I thank you all for tuning oh, in. Yeah. So have a wonderful day, Mr. Carey. Thank you so much for showing up. Anything thank else you, you want to say? Uh, got us. Um, of course, just thank you. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for your comments, your questions, for being a part of this live. Um, if you are interested in genealogy, trust, um, child support, um, student loan, uh, DNA analysis, we do offer that. You can go to info at peacepipetv.com. Um, we can email us there and we will get back with you with information on those services. Uh, we want to get everybody back to the natural aspect of ourselves as well as law. So. Um, Peace by TV website will be coming soon as well. Absolutely. Go ahead and how talk. to grow your own food. We're going to teach that as well because we need to get back to that. What happened if they shut down Walmart or Target or whatever? How are you going to feed your family? You should be able to go to the backyard and, and be able to feed your family or wherever you got your grow tent or whatever to feed your family. So we want to teach people that as well. We got a course on that coming. As the sister said about the um, child support, I know it was a lot of brothers and even sisters nowadays too. Mm -hmm. So we teach you what it's about and how to exit that system. We're not lawyers. We don't give legal advice, but we teach you how to exit the system and we show you how it's done and we show you that we have done it. Um, genealogy, if you have that, if you want that service as well, we go to we can't go no more. We have a lot of um, testimonies. So I actually I'm about to upload here shortly about people that we didn't help out as well. We have a team of people over here who do it. And also um, student loans that L's are people. These are things that people might not think think about on a regular basis, but what would uh, free and money up for you look like? We have a trust. We teach you how to be non-tax obligated. So when you go, just think about it, how much money are you spending on taxes? So we teach all of this here. We show proof. We're not just doing lip service. We show proof. Absolutely. So with that being said, 
Um, thank you all for tuning in. You got people still coming in. Look at that. <laughs> I know. Look, I see. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, maybe we'll come back a little later. I don't know. We'll see. But if we do, it'll be a pop up. So y'all keep your eye out. Make sure that you subscribe to uh, Peace Pipe TV. Uh, follow us on social media. We're on Facebook. Inst I'm sorry, Facebook and uh, TikTok. Um, uh, we're also, you can also hit up the brother, Carrie Davis. Um, he knows how to get in contact with us as well. Brother has a lot of knowledge information, so get Absolutely. with him as well. Um, do you have genealogy before the revolutionary war is the question that we have here. And yeah, we go worldwide, like worldwide. We even, it's funny you mentioned that because I got a, uh, matter of fact, I'll upload it. It's in the revolutionary war. It's like the list they got It's showing you that these people, some people labeled themselves as Indian. And then you got some people in the muster rolls, they're calling them black Indians. It, it, it's really remarkable, man. I'm, I'm actually about to upload that. I'm, I'm glad he mentioned that. All righty. So we will see you guys next time. Again, subscribe so you can see when we're live. Next time, hit the notification bell because that will also give you notification that you know when we are live. Who knows? We might be back. We might not. But we will see you next time. Absolutely. Absolutely.